currently run three clubs. There's the, the Wednesday Club, so-called because it's on a Wednesday night, uh, which is partly Scottish country dancing and partly a, a disco. There's the Thursday Club that you've seen this evening, um, indoor games, art and craft, uh, and I think they, they'll be having a bingo session before going on in the coffee bar. Uh, and then there's the infamous Saturday Disco, <laughs> mm -hmm. famous throughout Edinburgh. Very, very busy. I come along um, on the Wednesday night for the country dancing, and I also come along on the Thursday night for the crime crafts and the bingo. And I just like coming, socialising, meeting people. Games, making stuff, uh, we cut us out of pots. Myself and a group of students from the university come here and we play different games uh, with the participants here at the center, such as bingo, four square, we do crafts and activities, and uh, really it's just a chance to spend time with friends. Uh, we, we hang out, have a good time, share what's going on in our lives, and uh, it's really important part of my week. Um, best buddies came along on a Thursday night for four years and in help out um, in come along on their own time to help out the adults when it does about. Best buddies, they have a whole army of volunteers that come from Edinburgh University. They, they've uh, done tremendous work on a Thursday in particular. Uh, they've um, rejuvenated the Thursday Club. Uh, they are students from Edinburgh University and I think they're very good at helping us. They organise the arts and crafts things. Well, the students are very nice and very kind and they know always there when anyone needs to speak to them. They're a, they're a good asset for the club, yes. Um, best buddies are fantastic to work with. Well, people who are willing to, uh, to get stuck in. Um... Uh, well, I think anyone can do it and, and learn to do well, but uh, I mean, really, you just have to be willing to uh, be nice and kind and, and just open to friendships and uh, if you're easygoing that that helps just people who, uh, who get on well with the other people you know it might be intimidating at first coming to a place where you may not know anybody and, and uh, but our hope is that everyone feels welcomed <laughs> Uh, that everyone enjoys being here and uh, that they know that their contribution is valued. Uh, so come and see it first. Yeah. That's the answer. Come and see what you can be not involved in to be with. You know. I mean, it's, it's a super, super Saturday night, you know. I do think volunteers are important because that's always to be enabled. They've always relied on volunteers. Uh, yeah, and I think you end up enjoying it. Is they should volunteer for an able Edinburgh because it's a basic social outlet for people with disabilities and um, they enjoy coming, a lot of people with disabilities do come here. We need more people, we're, we're crying out for people. Well I enjoy it, I, I mean I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it, I, I do feel, I do feel valued here. Uh, and the Reddings to Club and Close to Club are when I get out and meet people so I don't become socially isolated. So it's very important because unfortunately as you'll see there's not many clubs like this set up throughout Edinburgh. But this particular Enable branch when they had more volunteers just to be able to get us out, do social things in the community because they had more time, they had more funding. And because they had more volunteers, they could do that. Now we can't have our things like we used to go on a bus trip every year at Rathal. They've had to stop all that because there's just not enough volunteers to make it safe. Yeah, they're needed. We need volunteers. Come and volunteer. 
especially on Saturday night, and I'd train you up to be a teacher. Definitely come and volunteer with the Indianable Pops, yes. We need more volunteers like the big buddies. Please do it. You you will not be disappointed. Uh, hopefully, we have the best couple hours of your week. And get involved, volunteer, 